All right, so the next day, and uh, the countertop is still a little tacky, actually, you know, since it was cold outside last night. So I'm not gonna apply a second coat just yet, but check it out. It's looking pretty damn good. But right here, you can tell, it's a little tacky. Uh, yeah, because you want to sand in between coats with like a steel wool. And uh, if you sand it while it's still a little tacky, it's just going to clump up. That's no bueno. So, today, we're just going to add more shelving. So I'm thinking of doing like a drawer down here, two cabinets here, and then an upper shelf up there. So that's what I'm going to try to do the main layout today at least. Let's do it. All right, so I want the bottom of the drawer to be like a little shorter than 19. Because eventually if I do get a refrigerator, most of them aren't uh, bigger than like 17. So I have a couple inches of play. So if I mark 19. of the drawer let's say the drawer is four inches five five inch drawer take it five and that's kind of high that should be pretty good So I got about another 19 inches for storage. I mean, that's really all you need, man. Right. Let's do that. So 19 plus five should be 24. 24. Ah, you rat bastard, come on. Twenty-four. 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 Oh. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Now with the top. Where this is the top of that shelf. So mine's a half inch. So twenty-three and a half. Alright, um, so the way I'm gonna put shelving here, I'm just gonna put a nailer underneath on each side and put a piece of wood on, screw it down. Cause I'm not gonna be holding pounds and pounds of weight up here. You know, half inch will be fine. And then we'll go from there. Let's. pre-drill these because the wood tends to split it's so small and then you gotta you pre-drill it and it don't grip it'll be uh okay let's do a couple more in here Glue it up. Just a little bit.
für den Tag. I was thinking, like having like another chair or couch over here, I'd be kind of chilling, but we really need this for storage. Eventually, down the line, I would like to, you know, do a bigger van, something I, I could stand up into. It's got to be an extended van, though. I, I don't think I can do a camper in like a regular size van lengthwise because, you know, you only got so much room in here. And this is the extended version. And, you know, look what I got going on. So, down the line, when I get more money and time, I want to get a nice big van like a Dodge uh, Promaster or a Ford Transit. Because the, uh, the Promaster is so square, so much easier to build. Like in here, there's all these curves and everything, but. I want to do another one in the back and then in the front. I was thinking about doing a 2x4 in the front and you know, just for more support because I got a uh, half inch plywood. There's going to be a little flex to it. It's half inch. Uh, three quarter would be a little better. Um, shit, I could always double it up so it'd be an inch, but that's just so much. Because if I do another. Uh, you know, more of these pieces, whatever they're called, five quarter, inch and a half. Um, that's going to have some support up front. I just don't know if it's going to flex. I want no flex. And I already left room on this side. Well, that's like three quarters of an inch. So when I have like the, uh, the door to the cabinet, it's going to, you know, shut flush in here. Maybe I should have brought it back a little more so I can have this in here, you know, for the for the wood to sit on. But if I do that, I mean, that means then the drawer is going to be, I want to have a nice five inch drawer. It's going to be that much lower. So I'm not going to have much room for the uh, anything underneath. So I, I like this height. Not so much height up there either. So we're going to find out. Measure another piece. You know what's pretty cool is like measurements usually don't work out this way. This is 22 and a half that way and then 22 and a half that way. Nice and easy. Okay. About 30, 31 shy. That's more like 30 and 7 eighths. Rather tight than loose. 30 and 7 eighths. Let's do it. Anyway. 
Alrighty, so now, nice little platform. Now, if I just put this here, I think it's still gonna flex up front, so I'm, I think I wanna put another piece there. I say let's cut the wood out, the plywood first. Let's see what it's like. Let's take some measurements. Twenty-two and an eighth. This is more like twenty-two. So we'll just cut it twenty-two. Is that thirty-two and a quarter? Yeah, thirty-two and a quarter. 22 by 32 and a quarter. Let me go uh, cut this piece out and be back. See if she fits. This is pretty sturdy actually, so. It's a little flex. Bad though. Fucking screw it in. So I'm saying, should I have a two by four? Make it really sturdy. But now I can't really do that. So I say we do another piece just for more support. Like this. Front. Yep, 30 and 7 eighths, baby. Nice and square. All right, I'm gonna cut that, be right back. Yeah, that should be a lot, a lot sturdier. The only thing is I have to pre-drill these correctly. Split. I already have the screws on the end, the other ones. So I have to get it's called a pocket jig. All right, be right back. Got the jig. So this is what I used, but I framed out the flooring. Just a little jig. So it kind of uh, makes it able. So you clamp this on the end of the wood. You clamp it like that, and you get a drill bit, and you drill in there, and it drills it on the angle, so you don't split the wood. So I only need one of these, so just like that. Alrighty. So you can actually adjust like at what point it goes into the uh, wood. I think an inch and a half is good so I can use the longer screws. All right, let's do the one side and then we can always flip it around to the other side. Anyway, here it is and you clamp it on here. This is a Craig jig, got it at Lowe's. I think it was like 40 bucks, but it's a lifesaver. All right, you clamp it on there so it doesn't slide off. And just pre-drill it. So now I don't want to get shavings everywhere. Just like this, right in there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I really should use the bit it came with. But it's a little wide. I think it's fine actually. Gonna die any second. So 
and now you have a nice little hole for it to go in and now I can use a longer screw so by the time it sets in there it should really only poke out three quarters of an inch and that's perfect all right all right guys we're back we're back in business so uh there's been some time that passed since the last clip clearly got my head shaved and uh it just took way too long to get these cabinets done and the sink and i just want to get it done it was really frustrating but uh check it out got the faucet in this thing was annoying to install there's a uh a two by four that goes here like i mentioned earlier and i had a hole saw through the whole uh the width of the two by four so that was a pain and there was a uh, screw going through there so you know i busted up the bit um i also had to get a big hole saw like two two and uh two and an eighth big of a hole saw go from underneath because the opening's only two inches for the faucet but you also have to remember the faucet goes through and then you got to screw it on and it clamps to the uh countertop so the uh the screw was like this wide so i had to get a big enough hole and then the two by four was like falling apart i had to resister it up you know rebuild some structure in here just so it holds up nice and sturdy man i was cursing and but hey i powered through and i got it done and it looks great so this faucet eventually you know i will get a uh a more legit faucet you know like with a legit pump and everything but i don't have like a power source yet so as of now it's just a nice little pump you know that's all you need just got to empty out the gray water tank every now and then and you're golden we live in the high life now <laughs> this is just like you know a little makeshift for now it's a pump pumps out and i just have another makeshift job down here what i have down here this was a there we go this is a for oil when you're changing oil you can store your oil so there was already a hole right here that kind of just widened widened out a little bit so the uh the gray water goes in there and then i have this water tank here and i get i got the tube that pumps the water so i got a little uh, makeshift sink setup right now it's working pretty good and i had to build these boxes out Just so that would sit pretty level and i made another box down here so this is sitting level it's all secured check it out got the cabinets too look at that man looks good doesn't it definitely going to stain that i think with the uh oak color but these were a pain in the ass to install as well i was like i was doing this for like three hours straight and i want to record it because i was pretty much just cursing the whole time and uh, finally got it right. Got it all level. And I even sanded the edges so it wasn't sharp. Woo! So I got a main compartment here. A little storage up there. Got little magnets. I put uh, magnets in there, top and bottom. So it would shut nice. So this was a real pain to get right. <clears throat> you know me, I'm like a perfectionist. So uh, these these doors aren't like legit cabinet doors. They're actually three quarter plywood. And I bought the two by two squares. So they're like pretty straight and level as is. Or I should say nice and uh, flat. Uh, but they're, you know, they, they weren't the best. So it was sticking out a lot. So in order for me to get this to shut all nice like this, I had to like, level this out you can see over here this board I screwed into is a lot closer than up there so you can see how the board sticking out past the bottom of the the uh, shelf right there and how it's direct you know pretty much directly under there 
And if you look underneath, there's a big gap underneath. That's just how the plywood was, so I had to make it work. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it, man. It came out good and uh, it's coming along. And then I will get it like a drawer set up right here eventually. So it pulls out nice and that'll have space down there for the fridge or for more storage, you know? And like I said, I even can put that toilet underneath there. And this can be like a little mini closet for like, you know, jackets and just gear and stuff. Coming along, man, coming along. I can't believe like how far this build has come along because when I first bought it and I discovered all that rust underneath the uh, mats, man, I, I thought I bought another junker, but I just powered through. I did what I had to do and <laughs> look at it now, man. I'm just so happy. So guys, that's gonna do it for this one. This thing is slowly coming along, but you know, the more and more I upgrade this thing, I'm just I'm getting more hyped, you know what I mean? The dream is coming true, and uh, I just can't wait to go on adventures with this thing. There are some things I have to uh, get fixed in the engine, just a small couple things, but besides that, um, I just can't wait. You know, one day, like I said, I'm gonna do like a solar panel hookup, and I'd like to get like a deck up there and everything, and. I want like a legit power source back here so I can run all the electrics off that. And then, you know, one day I want to get uh, like an AC unit back here too because, like I said, it gets hot in here. Um, right now it's not too bad. And like right now, and uh, this is May 1st, the nights kind of get cool. But once you're in like July and August, like it's only going down to the 70s at nighttime, you need, you need something to cool it off. So. I really hope you enjoyed this update. I want to keep updating. I'm also going to keep doing abandoned explorers. I'm going to keep doing some uh, cryptid stuff. I want to keep you guys posted what's going on in the uh, Josh Bev adventures. And uh, yeah, give it a like, subscribe, tell your friends and family, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.